Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for November 18th to 25th. I am Charlene Lazat. Whether you are new or whether you are returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. Please excuse my voice, I am healing. So, you know, there may be a couple of coughs, there may be a little bit of disruption in my vocals, but I'm here doing your reading because I love you. Okay, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God, this week really said, hey Capricorn, get your shit together. It's time to level up. Oh my God, Beck. Okay, let's go. Retrogrades. Surprise, surprise. Okay, Ten of Cups, beautiful. King of Swords, love that. At, <coughs> excuse me. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, which I really like. This tells me that the future forecast is looking bright. This week feels like a week of, for lack of a better term, walking through purgatory to reach the next level. You know, this is like you having to pass all the levels in a week. And, but like, okay, but let's be real here for a minute. There are no major arcanas, which means the stuff that's going on today is, uh, or this week I should say, is really mundane, dude. What this, what this feels like a lot is like a portal. A portal in the way of shifting the way you think, a portal in the way that you apply yourself in life, a portal in the way that you position yourself. It is the mindset, it is the story. All of this is big mindset stuff, dude. Change your mind, change your life. That's the vibe here. We have retrograde and a retrograde in astrology is when a planet retrogrades. And when a planet retrogrades, it gives space for introspection, self-reflection, rest, retreat, refuel, reset. The planet actually doesn't start turning the other way. It just is in such a slow motion that to us down here on earth, to there, it does look like that. But that slowing down is a great time for introspection, right? It's a great time to go, hmm, have I been doing these things according to my highest good? Like, let's get real here. If I was your bestie and we were sitting down together, could you turn around and tell me with complete honesty and sincerity, yeah, Shar, you know, I've been doing the best I could. I'm like, I'm, I'm vibrating high. I'm keeping my mindset right. I'm talking positive thoughts. I'm keeping, I'm keeping a level head. And if the answer is no, is the answer I'm letting my ego get in the way? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm fighting. I feel like I need to get into the rink. I need to fight. I need to get to some sort of war. Right? We the Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal, and then peace. I'm a being of love, and I release all negative energy. See, Source is saying to you, move, look forward, look to the future, look to the future, look ahead. Decide what you want for your future. Decide what that's going to look like for your future, okay? I want you to think ahead in life. And then sword is, Source is saying, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Cups, but it's the back. Your back is faced to this. I think Source is really asking you, Capricorn, to start thinking about things differently, to change the internal conversation. Stop thinking that the world is against you. <coughs> Stop thinking that the worst is going to happen. This is about you changing your story, your internal story. And I talk a lot about this with my clients and in my courses. I say this all the time. 90% of success is mindset. If you don't got the right mindset, don't expect to be successful. The reason why billionaires are billionaires is because they got their head on straight, straight up. Yes, I get it. They know people, patriarchy, white, privilege, blah, blah, blah. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a lot of white people that are broke. There's a lot of men that are broke right? It's their head. It's their mindset. It's internal story. Failure does, is not even an option. So they end up being successful. And that's what you got to turn into right now. You're Capricorn, babe. You're the goat. Don't forget that. Soros is saying we got to turn around the story and start hustling. We got to wrap up 10 of swords, six of swords. We got to wrap up this story of I'm a victim. The world is against me. I've been backstabbed. I've been betrayed. Look at all these people that did all these things to me. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we get it. Listen, trust me, trust you. I've been betrayed, backstabbed. Everybody I know has been, but everyone has challenges. You know what the difference is between those people that get stuck in proverbial suffering and those that reach success? Put your head down and do the sea goat things. Hustle, work, grind, focus on your money, honey, okay? Focus on stability, on growth, on success. You literally got we the Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Source is putting you through all of this so that you can purge and release the negative energy 
and look at things from a, a, a what is it called? Perspective of love. I'm sorry for my coughing. And that's what's gonna lead you to this, right? Like this is the end re the result anyways, right? Okay, so let's dive into your love reading. <laughs> And then we have happiness here. Sorry, I sounded like a dolphin and there's dolphins here, right? That's what we're going towards anyways, babe, happiness, okay? Let's dive into your love reading here. You also got um, Venus as your amulet. Venus is all about love, all right? She's all about harmony, peace, beauty, four of swords, the fool, ten of cups, yeah. I think some of you are also having to break up with somebody here, somebody that is not serving you. Somebody that is not respecting you. Three of Wands, the Fool, yeah. I think some of you are trying to look for that Ten of Cups. Yeah. <coughs> Death here. Some of you are trying to look for the Ten of Cups in a person that will never be your Ten of Cups. Because they're just not. They'll keep you stuck. They'll keep you limited. They'll keep you unhappy. They'll keep you. Pl they'll, they'll keep playing games with your heart. Keep playing games with my heart. Right? Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. Yeah, man. You're constantly going to be in this. Hmm, do they like me? If you have to even question whether they like you, whether they respect you, whether they're into you, it's a no. Three of Wands and the Fool. Source is saying it's time to look forward, baby. We're not looking backwards. We're looking forward. All right. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You cultivate and co-create that balance internally. You fall in love with yourself first, my love. And guess what? Everything else falls into place. Everything. You got to focus on changing that whole story. So what if the relationship didn't work with this person or the business didn't work with this person or the opportunity didn't pan out? The universe is always conspiring to work in my favor. Rejection is redirection. The universe has my back. All right, I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session, work with me in any capacity, it's in the description box below. Thank you for your patience while I heal. We will see you later. Alligators, peace out. Bye.